What's up, Fraud Squad? Today we are back, gloves are on, and what we're gonna be doing today is we are gonna be stripping this whole entire hammerhead go-kart down to the bare frame. So we're gonna be removing the motor right back off of it, the battery, the gas tank I had set up right now, which is a coolant overflow container, if anyone wanted to know. It just ran with the tube, a little cutoff valve right into the carburetor. But we got a new gas tank coming. But for right now, I'm gonna strip all this down, take all the electronics off of the front end, and I'm gonna remove this whole entire cart. This is a suspension, everything off of the front end. And we are gonna strip this down, the bare metal, and we're gonna be painting it. All right, let's get to it. All right, so it's the next day, and I took everything apart. I didn't wanna bore you guys with anything. I grinded off the battery box, and I'm so glad I did because there's some rust spots there. So I just used the grinder, cut it off, cut the hammerhead off of the front of the go-kart. So I'm going to sand that down, repaint it. Um, took the whole front assembly off, and I took the rear assembly off. I'm going to grind all this stuff and get that ready for paint. But right now, I have the frame of the go-kart right here completely bare. I'm about ready to turn the pressure washer on give it a quick little spray and then after that it's gonna get to sanding so I mean I took everything off I took the brake assembly off I took all the wiring off I got everything off the only thing I didn't take off was just this part right here and it's a little loose so maybe there's a way for me to tighten it up I mean I was looking at it, it doesn't look like there is I think that's just how it is but overall I'm just gonna clean everything up I mean this is bent right here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix it or not. Just, this, this is just so solid. And then down here with the rust, I'm gonna sand down the rust really good. But I'm not gonna, I'm probably just gonna clean it off and rough sand the whole thing up. I'm not gonna get too crazy into sanding, um, except for the areas where there's rust, like here, as you can see. I'm gonna get those down to bare metal and eliminate all this. So I'm gonna get started. I'm not gonna bore you guys with anything. So one whole hour of sanding later, I got everything sanded down pretty good. Now we can see the spots with the rust. I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna start it up and I'm just gonna run it over everything so I can get into the grooves and get all the rust removed out of it. So I got this spot right here, this spot right here, and this spot right here, and a couple other little here and there spots. So I'm just gonna do this real quick and then we'll jump right into the painting process. First layer of paint starting to go on. Looking good. Doing a great job, Alyssa. Thanks. Doesn't that look good so far? That looks really good so far. All right. So the first coat of paint is done. And it's looking really nice. I can't wait to put the second coat on. Man. Whew. Alyssa, you did such a good job. Thanks. Is this your first time spray painting something? Big? Yeah. Yep. I never use spray paint. How do you think you did? Good. Second coat is done. And man, this thing's looking good. We've got some bugs on the paint, but it's expected when you're painting outside. But man, it looks so nice. This paint is really coming together nice. I might do a third coat. I haven't decided yet because I know it's going to get scratched up and stuff out on the trail or wherever it is that we're taking it. But for now, I think this looks great. All right. So it's been like two days since we painted this. Um, I did also go over this and spray some black spray paint on the rear where I had removed the battery tray. But then we come over here. I spray painted the steering wheel black. It used to be silver, but now it's all black. It looks really good. I think the color scheme we're going with this is gonna be really nice with the black and the blue. Uh, got the petals over here. They just have their first coat done. And then I also have the rear luggage area being painted where the gas tank connects to. So 
right now i just primered it i just sprayed it with primer black and then i'm going to go over it with the gloss black afterwards because i think that'll help cover all the red and get it all dialed in so i still have to flip it paint the other side and then it's going to be all gloss black but it is coming along nice guys the build is just definitely coming along it's just little by little by little one thing at a time and yes i did work on this bike today because i was working on tuning it so everything over here it's coming along really good. All the wiring is in really good condition and it's all tucked nice away. This is the positive for the battery terminal, which I think I might actually make a new one. And then this is my ground and I might be making two new ones as well because I need it to come up a little bit higher. And when it's bouncing and the suspension is going up and down, I don't want to rip off the battery. So I wanna make sure I have plenty of room. But everything is coming along over here. I still gotta take the masking tape off of the rubber on the pedals. I didn't even realize it till after I painted it. Um, these right here, they pull right up and out. So I took these ones out, but I didn't take those ones out because I thought these ones were screwed down, but then I found out they were all the same. So stupid me, but yes, it's all coming along good. Everything is getting painted, cleaned up, and all this is gonna be painted black soon. So I just gotta take them apart. So I've started the reassembly process, put the pedals on, got this on. I at least have one bolt in it this time. I put another bolt and it broke off in there, but I'm gonna put two more bolts on here and then this thing will be sturdy. It's not going anywhere. I was gonna try to get it out, but I figured, well, for now, I'll just run three and I'll probably try to get it out later on. I don't have any easy outs right now, but I ran the wiring down through here, zip tied it up on here and I zip tied it all the way down. I am gonna cut these, but for now, I mean, pretty much any angle you really look at it, you're not gonna see it unless you're like back here or underneath the driver's side, but it's gonna look way nicer than it did before. And then I'm gonna wire all these up and I'm gonna tuck them all so you can't see any of them before it goes into the back for the harness. But I did wire up this light so far and it's looking pretty good. I just gotta tuck this wire back down and in and then use these clamps to clamp it down so i'm going to finish the wiring and i'll update you guys on the next step so i noticed when i was doing the wiring i'm gonna have to zip tie the end of this wire down there at the end so that way it's not in the way of the gas pedal but then if you come over here there's a gap where it's missing this piece right here and instead of taking off the end i'm just gonna use electrical tape i'm gonna wrap this all good because this is the part that goes right in here so I'm gonna make sure it's wrapped up real well. And I could slide this over and make it in a different spot, but I kind of want this part to be insulated just because this spot right here will sometimes touch the motor and I'd rather it burn through this. So that way I have a chance to catch it before it just burns through the wires. So I'm gonna get to electrical taping this. So as you guys can see, I went over it twice. Looks much better now. And I'm not gonna have to worry about it while it's sitting right in here, getting dirty or anything happening to it. So now I'm gonna go over here, make my proper adjustments and get this all tucked up underneath here so you can't see all it. All right guys, so I just got these back in because I took these off because I masked these off and I put these back in. Do not take these out. They are <laughs> extremely hard to put back in. I was using a hammer right here and I was beating it really hard on the rubber little, they have little rubber tabs on the bottom that go in and whew, I was beating them pretty freaking hard. I was kind of bending the metal down there. That's how hard I was hitting it. So I finally got them in. I had, I lubed them up and put them in and then I had to beat them in to get them to go all the way in. But as you can tell, the wiring's tucked under except for right there where it goes underneath the seats. So I think most of the wiring it's pretty tucked away and hidden. I ran all this down here under like this, like the original OEM way, but then I had to zip tie right in here to get this down so I could get it to come over. If not, it was in the way of the gas pedal and I don't want anything to keep us from going fast. So now it's all on there, but man, a lot of progress has been made today on this thing. 
and I'm super excited to have it done. I still have to take these apart right here and paint them. And I have to wait for my new brake master cylinder to come in and my new front rotors. So I still have another day, but I mean, this just took me all day today, getting that painted, getting the steering wheel painted. So now it's black and getting all this together. Also, I rewired this up so I could charge a phone or something, or if I needed to bring a tire inflator kit with me, I can inflate one of the tires if they go low, which is a super good idea that they put that on there. And I do actually have a tire pump. So I'm almost there, guys. I just gotta order a set of new tires and get that done. But I think I'm probably gonna get everything painted, put the tires on there, pump them up with there, just so I could ride on them. And then like that'll be in a later date just because set of tires for this thing. If I get the stock ones, 250 bucks, but who wants to go stock? It just doesn't look as cool, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna keep working on this and you guys are gonna All see. All right, it. say hi. Hello. We just finished putting on the whole front end. Everything is all together now. Steering is on. I just did an alignment on here or an eyeball alignment to get it much better than it was. And now we have the whole steering rack locked into place, mounted, all this. I'm sure you guys have noticed it's painted black. So we are definitely one step closer. We're about to throw the back motor on and get the throttle cable set up and the forward reverse shifter set up. And we're probably gonna go take this thing for a little spin. What do you think? Probably. Ahead of myself on this go kart build, throwing it back together as fast as possible. I forgot that I had a new gas tank and I haven't put the gas tank on. So I guess I'll put it on. It's just a little bit more difficult to put it on once it's on the buggy. So I'm gonna go ahead, assemble this, throw the new pet cock that I came on for the bottom. Cause as you see, it didn't come with one uh, installed. So I have to install it real fast and then I'll throw it on here. And this thing should almost be hundred percent ready after I put up the throttle cable. I'm, I'm running no brakes right now for the test ride. So let's get this thing going. Oh, yeah. Everything hooked up. I even wired this up, and guess what, guys? It freaking works! Now I'm gonna air up the tires, put some gas in it, and hopefully the battery's not drained after doing this, and we can actually start up and do an official drive after I did put everything back together and rewired everything. Are you excited? Yep. Still, no brakes, guys. There are still no brakes on here. No brakes. No All gas, no brakes. Let's check it out now. All right, all that hard work. And this thing is looking so nice. Of course, we still have to redo the seats. We're still gonna paint the rims black. We're gonna get new tires for this thing. I still have to do a carburetor tune on it. But man, you guys can see the finished product. And this thing looks so awesome. It's just so, so clean. What do you think? It looks great. Right? Did we do a good job or what? Yeah. All right, guys, take a good look at this. All the detail work that went into this. This took, what'd you say, 60 hours? Yeah. 60 hours. Long time. 60 hours to complete to here. But we'll have another video of us doing the brakes, another video of us restoring the seats, painting the rims and tires. That'll probably all be like in the same video, or at least the brakes and rims and tires for sure. But this thing is looking awesome, guys. So if you like what you see, Subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a comment down below because this thing turned out awesome. I'm so excited about it. Are you? Yeah. 
All right, guys. So until next time, peace. peace.